A spiritual warfare cannot be met with a superpower nation of our times. Cannot fight a spiritual battle with nuclear warheads. You cannot. You see, the spiritual warfare is totally different level. And it is so powerful, it is so immense, and it's so enormous. If the Lord, if the Lord opens your eyes for a moment, believe you me. Believe, if you don't want to believe, that's fine. But believe you me, if the Lord opens your eyes for a moment, you will see the angels of heaven fighting the enemy and his foul spirits non-stop for us to go and come so easily and freely. You know, for you to get in the car, to go to work, to school, to church, do shopping, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, remember this. The Lord is protecting you. That's why it's so easy. A time will come, the Lord will lift his hand and will say to the enemy, you have full freedom. The enemy now doesn't have full freedom. And see what he's doing in the world. And in the church, not only in the world, in the church, he has divided the church and made church leaders who are supposed to be brothers in Christ gone as enemies. Unbelievable. But this is the enemy. You see, he is not, he has not, he does not have his full freedom. And yet we struggle, don't we? We fall into one ditch, we come out, we fall into a bigger one and a deeper one. And we say, enough, I'm not going to do this anymore. Now I come back and I, and I do worse. I'm not going to take drugs and I do worse. I'm not going to gamble and I do worse. I'm not going to go with girls and I do worse. I'm not going to go with boys and I do worse. I'm not going to watch this and I'm not going to do that and I still do it. The enemy is on fire. He's gone haywire. But... What's happening till this moment? He doesn't have full freedom. A time will come, three and a half years, the Lord will release that enemy and say, just like I, Jesus Christ, had three and a half years to save and redeem and bring back to God the lost souls, I'm fair. I'll give you your portion of the battle. You will have in the end of times three and a half years to destroy, kill, and you will be set free. Oh, oh, oh. There are still people saying hello to you. Thank God. There are still people caring about you. Thank God. There are still people loving you. Thank God. It's a struggle, but thank God, a time will come, there will be no one left. Why? Because Satan will be given full freedom. He will devour the whole world from east to west, north to south, before any human blinks their eyes. And those who are worshipping Satan now, he'll burn them. See, Satan hates everyone with a passion, including those who worship him. Poor things. They're lost. They're worshiping someone who's going to burn them in the end. He hates everyone with a passion. And more so, he hates those who love the Lord. But he even hates those who worship him. When he's given that freedom, he will kill these witnesses. Look how much power do they have? Changing the water into blood. Moses, bringing fire from heaven. Elijah, passing judgment onto the world. Enoch, so much power. They will strike the earth with as many plagues as they desire. They will be given power. Anybody to come and try to harm them, they'll have to be burned and killed. Yet when Satan is released and given full power, he will kill them. He will put the whole world in a concrete mixer. And he'll mix everyone together. He'll bring out a new concrete. 
I don't know, maybe 100 MPA that dries up in a split second. He will give him that permission. Fair is fair. You know why the Lord gives that uh, even fairness to Satan? Because the people of the time would have walked away from the Lord. But even though he's giving Satan full, full freedom, he still have two witnesses to testify and say to people, come back and repent. The Lord will always have witnesses for himself, even if it's the last second of this entire world and in this entire life. He will always have an, uh, a witness for himself, no matter what time it is and what place it is. Christ never leaves himself without a witness. In the heart of hell, he'll have two witnesses. So that's what the three and a half years is. Just like Christ saved us in three and a half years, he'll give, he'll give Satan a chance to destroy the world in three and a half years.